What's up guys? Today I'll be reacting to a video called 10 Weird Animals That Will Give You Chills. Hopefully not too bad, but we'll find out. Ten animals that will give you chills. This world is filled with beautiful, harmonious animals which almost look like Miguel Angel himself sculpted by hand. But our planet also has some mysterious, weird, and scary species that nature itself has created. Discover them with us. Myanmar Snub-Nosed Monkey This rare primate was discovered in 2010 by the scientific world. But the hunters and locals of northern Burma knew about this animal for a long time, even calling it monkey with its face turned up or in woe according to the dialect of the place where it usually lives. At first sight, it looks like the most beautiful, furry, and charming prime. <laughs> this monkey looked like Michael Jackson. <laughs> or uh, Voldemort. <laughs> I wonder if this is where they got this face from. <laughs> ...made of the Burmese jungle. However, when you get face to face with this monkey, you will run with terror. It has some strange nostrils that make it look like the devil himself. Extremely scary. Besides its ugly nose, it has a pronounced snout, giving it a totally atypical and even alien image. If you look at the funny side, we might even think that it had an excess of Botox during a plastic surgery. Its eyes are completely dark, and it can be disturbing if we make eye contact with this extravagant primate. Drink some water before walking through the jungle because you might find. Hello, Harry. I'm not even sure if that's Voldemort's voice, but all I know is that he looks like Voldemort. <laughs> find one of these. The Goliath Tigerfish. This fish won't only scare you, but traumatize you, so don't ever step on a river again. The Goliath tigerfish is one of the largest and scariest species around the world, measuring 27.5 inches in females and the males 70.86 inches in length, almost the average size of an adult human. Are you scared? There's still more! At first glance, its incredible jaws can intimidate anyone. But those sharp teeth aren't its main terrifying feature, because it has a pair of huge eyes that give it great vision. Also, it's able to feel low-frequency vibrations of the near prey. This terrifying fish has the habit of stalking its victims by making surrounding movements before savagely attacking, being the blow of a goliath tiger almost equal or superior to that of a classic piranha. Its mouth is composed of 32 teeth in total, which look like scary and sharp knives. According to British fisherman and adventurer Jeremy Wade, the teeth of the Goliath tigerfish are the same length. Do you guys see the size of that thing's mouth and teeth? Oh. Ouch. Like this is the ones of a great white shark, a complete killing machine. Purple Frog. This amphibian is one of the most repulsive and unpleasant species around the world. It was discovered only 15 years ago in India, specifically in the year 2003. Okay, this one can't be that. Oh, whoa. that thing is ugly. <laughs> That's a frog. Ugh. That thing gotta be poisonous for sure, for sure. In the famous Western Ghats or Syadri Mountains, its huge body and small head give it a grotesque image. It's so disgusting that you might even feel sick just to see it standing. Its peculiar image is quite monstrous. No one would ever find these frogs pleasant or even put them in their gardens or even playing with them in the neighborhood park. The purple frog has small yellow eyes, almost imperceptible for a human with myopia, and flashy enough to... What's funny about the purple frog though is that it's awfully ugly? But it has a very atypical name, I guess. It's, it's color and frog. I thought it would have something, you know, ugliest Maximus or something. I don't know. Make you feel sick. 
Its peculiar nose is one of the most outstanding characteristics of this species. If this frog decides to sniff or touch you with it, it would be one of the most disgusting and terrifying experiences of your life. So be very careful when traveling to India, it wouldn't be memorable at all to have one of these ugly, scaly, and cold skin frogs on your body. You're all warned. Goblin Shark This shark is one of the most bizarre and extraordinary species that nature could give us. It has a prominent nose that gives us a strange and almost unrealistic look. In addition to this extravagant characteristic, the goblin shark has a free-moving jaw, which means that it can move forward when opening its fearsome jaws. At first glance, it seems that it's dislocated from its body, giving it a totally macabre appearance. This jaw is composed of numerous teeth, each of them located frontally with a long and pointed dimension. Just like Jason Voorhees' famous electric saw, it's totally chilling. Since it's a rare and frightening species, it's obvious that it lives in the depths of the sea, approximately 4,490 feet deep, where it usually lives and hunts fishes, crustaceans, among others. Its long snout didn't only serve to differentiate it from other marine animals, it also had sensitive and powerful electroreceptors, which give it the biological ability to receive electrical impulses to locate objects and navigate in the ocean. That is terrifying. Oh my gosh, that thing looks terrifying. But its nose sounds like if it was a person, it'd sound like this. Let me bite you. <laughs> Scary! Poodle Moth This incredible and strange species of moth was discovered in 2009 by the Dr. Arthur Anker. This discovery occurred during his visit to the Gran Sabana National Park located in Venezuela. If the common moths seem horrible to you, this South American moth will give you the worst nightmares of your life. Its big dark eyes are so intense. I will never run into it to this. See, I can't even English right. I will never run into this. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Intimidating that you might think it watches you during the night. Creepy. Its eyes aren't the only curious and extravagant part of this insect. Its antennae have the shape of long brushes, the same ones that give a pretty bizarre appearance to its hairy head. For the researcher and Dr. Klaus Schuker, the poodle moth is adorably monstrous. It's very likely that he said this because its body is completely hairy, tiny, and it seems to be an alien animal. This insect has four wings, which are completely covered with hair. When they're extended, it gives quite a magical and original Yo, that moth looked like the great moth in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, except less fur. I don't know. It looks. I mean, it looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card to me. Maybe a Pokemon. Venomoth? No, no, too white. That that does look like a Pokemon though, or a Yu-Gi-Oh card, whichever you prefer. Appearance: Its six legs give it the strength to carry its small weight and hold well on all types of surface. So, keep it away from your head or your face. It could be a traumatic experience to see this strange insect on top of you. Seriously! Brazilian Treehopper If you thought insects were really horrible, this species will make you feel like you don't want to see one of these again in your life. The Brazilian Treehopper is one of the most unpleasant- I don't think I would probably ever see that thing in my life. Even when I visit. Brazil. I don't think I'd ever see that. Ever. Ever. I'm not going to be looking for it. And if I do find it, best believe I'm taking pictures. Strange and disturbing insects in nature. Its enormous head seems to be completely armored. The most interesting thing about its terrifying image are its antennas, which have the form of a helicopter and are composed of five hairy mini-spheres sticking out in all directions. Its large and intimidating eyes could be defined as the mirrors of terror, where you wouldn't want to see yourself reflected in by any means. It has a pair of pretty thick wings, which are responsible for protecting its abdomen from the Brazilian rainforest climate. Its extraterrestrial appearance could make you puke if you're a sensitive person. Blue Dragon For many people, dragons are synonymous of power, courage, and terror. In the case of the blue dragon, it's difficult to give it those kind of adjectives, because it only measures between 1 to 1.57 inches in length. 
This small and strange species normally presents cold colors, such as blue, light blue, and white. It has six appendages that expand in the form of rays around its body. The blue dragon is considered okay, well, a sea slug, and, and not like these ones, fish. it has a structure called radula, which is a characteristic I mean, of mollusks. The water, no matter what, there, it has its small teeth in the form of a sword that serves to scrape its food. This species is a hermaphrodite, so it contains both male and female sexual organs. Pretty disturbing. I'm going to leave it there. This was number six. I'm going to leave it at the blue dragon. So if you guys want to watch the rest of the video, I'm going to put it in the description down below. I'm going to put a link over there so you guys can watch the rest of the whole video. But it's a very interesting looking video. There's, I think there's a couple more insects. I kind of don't just want to watch the whole video so that way you guys can watch it for the sake of the original creator of the video. So yeah, like and subscribe please and um, comment down below. See what you guys want to talk about. Peace.